Hey, it's Aaron, and today we'll be going through the solution for Eye of Horus Cryptex Cylinder Puzzle Box. This puzzle is a level 7 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. So, we have the cylinder, we have a bunch of markings, and we got two spinny pieces here. So this piece moves, this piece moves. Now we don't really actually need to worry about this piece. Its only purpose is to come out. So we don't need to worry about rotating that. So to begin with, we have these symbols and we have this eye. And you can see that the eye actually has a hole in it. So I'm going to spin it until I match up the little eye symbol with the eye, and then I'm going to tilt it forward towards it. There we go. And a ball bearing should drop down into view. Now from here, we are going to rotate this to the three here, where it's mashed up with the eye, and we will just rotate it like so, kind of try to get it so that none of the ball bearings are rolling around. and we should be able to just pull it right up. So the two ball bearings are back here. You can see them, they're in their designated slots. So I can just forward and they drop down. And then we can put it back to the eye and we can see that we've made a groove here all the way to the bottom to where this ball bearing sit in. and the third one pops out. So you can see that this is just a groove in here and that just holds it in place. We can see that we have the two different grooves in this, the one with the deeper slot above the eye and this one here. Now, if we try to line this one up with the eye, we wouldn't actually be able to drop a ball bearing down here. And then these two guys have the marble openings. So once you drop the eye in, then you rotate it around and that gives you the two grooves to seat the other two ball bearings. So to put it back together, We will line the eye up with the eye. We will grab one of our ball bearings. We will drop one on the floor and hopefully not lose it. And we will put this down into the groove so that it drops back where the eye is. Then we will rotate to lining up the number three with the eye again and that lines up those grooves. And then we'll just get the ball bearings into their track. And they drop in. And then we can just put the lid back on, give it a shake. Go back to the eye symbol. Here we go. And then we can release the third ball bearing into the race and we're good.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook or Instagram. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.